Hey guys, welcome back to Celebrity Tarot Readings. I am super excited. I'm about to read for another BTS member. All right. The first one I did is on June Cook. June Cook. I'm not sure if I pronounced his name correctly, but you guys can check out his video if you haven't already. You guys have been showing a lot of love for that video. So I really do appreciate the um, interaction on there. So I'm going to uh, do another one. And this one is, I believe his name is Park Jimin. He was born October the 13th, 1995. Any information that's incorrect, please comment it down below in the description box. I'm sorry, in the comment section. But he's a part of the mega popular boy band, uh, K-pop band, BTS. Okay? So, Jimin has a son in Libra. <clears throat> he has a moon in Gemini. Oh, wow. Mercury in Libra, Venus in Scorpio, Mars in Scorpio, North Node in Libra. He has a lot of air. And Pluto in Scorpio. Oh, he definitely is one of those people that needs a lot of room to grow, to have fun, to make mistakes. He could also be somebody that, that he's blunt. Um, not blunt in like a, a rude way, but he's blunt in like a nurturing sort of way because he has a lot of Libra in his chart. Of course, he is a Libra son. But I just get him as somebody that marches to the beat of his own drum, especially with that moon in Gemini. This is somebody I feel that's a free spirit that likes to have a lot of fun. He's probably the jokester in the group. And also, he's serious when he knows when he needs to be because he does have Mars and Venus and Scorpio. So this is somebody that, you know, he's like, okay, you know, now it's time to get serious and he buckles down. He's also somebody that's, uh, even though he's so fun and he talks a lot and he enjoys himself, he is also someone that is very private, okay? He's the type of person that if he was going through something, only his closest, closest family members and friends would know, okay? He's not the type that normally opens up and let people know what he's going through. He likes to just give off the appearance that he has everything in balance. Keep in mind, again, a lot of Libra energy, so um, he may hide a lot behind a smile, okay? So, dear God, I ask that you give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through for Jimin. What is the current energy around Jimin at this time, please, that needs to come through? Ten of Cups in a reverse. Oh, so he may have ended up uh, recently. He could have ended a friendship with someone or there's something in his life that's feeling broken. He could come from a broken home. It could be um, a broken home that has like domestic violence in it, unfortunately. Um, I'm definitely getting broken home or broken friendship. Something has happened in his life and it's it's. Like I said before, I'm getting a strong energy of somebody that talks about everything under the sun. I think he's very intelligent. He can tell you all about Mars and aliens, but he's not going to tell you about his personal life. And this could be the fact that he tries to protect himself from criticism. Um, you know, but like I said, very private. He want to know everything about you. Like if he's in a relationship with a woman, he wants to know every freaking secret. But he's not going to reveal much about his emotions. Keep in mind, cups have to deal with emotions, okay? So he's someone that may not open up a lot. And he's also somebody that if he's cried, he may have cried one time that he can remember in his life because he may have a disconnect from his emotions. You have here the ten of ones. Oh, my goodness. Yes. I don't know, you all. Um, Something about his that he's going through right now that's a burden on him right now because you have the ten of wands next to the ten of cups in the reverse so i don't know if his parents are going through a divorce or he's going there's something that is bothering him at this time oh okay could be his career okay because we got the ten of cups next to the ten of wands ten of wands is all about a person being in burden or feeling stressed out burnt out or unwilling to compromise or delegate with somebody oh poor guy why is that coming through oh it may have to do with a queen of pentacles okay queen of pentacles could be a capricorn or virgo could be a taurus doesn't necessarily have to be this but if he's dealing with someone or dealt with someone, it could be the end of a friendship or a relationship that he may not have been ready for it to end, and it's caused him a lot of hurt. 
So with this Queen of Pentacles, <clears throat> excuse me, with this Queen of Pentacles here in the reverse, it also sometimes has to do with somebody uh, being very self-centered, being all about themselves. Maybe he felt this way about somebody else. Maybe this is the energy that he's feeling right now, or he could be dealing with somebody that's a gold digger. Oh, I'm wondering if, oh, he may have an overbearing parent, an overbearing parent that wants him to work, 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 so they can make sure that financially they are taken care of, allegedly. Keep in mind, every single thing here is alleged, okay? Tarot is for entertainment purposes only. People are in control of their own lives. All right, so also, yeah, because something has stopped moving, okay? The buck stops here. You got the chariot card in the reverse. Right now, he, the reason why he's feeling so much burden at this moment, because he doesn't, he's experiencing some type of loss of will, loss of direction. I did not expect this to be sad and a lack of discipline. Why are you feeling this way? Ooh, with the justice card here in the reverse. I'm telling you, he's feeling like he's been treated unfairly in a situation, whether this is with a motherly figure, somebody he was in a relationship with, or this is some type of inner conflict that he's dealing with alone. Keep in mind, all of that Scorpio in his chart, plus his Pluto is in Scorpio. He has a lot of secrets he's not really revealing, he's not really opening up about, but I really do hope that he is communicating with somebody uh, it could be a Libra that he's dealing with, but uh, could it be a Libra that wasn't honest with him? Um, I'm getting dishonesty, unaccountability for something or being feeling as if you've been treated unfairly. Yeah, you have the two of pentacles uh, possibly being juggled. Um, doesn't necessarily mean this person was being juggled with, um, you know, meaning that the person that they were dealing with could have been juggling them with somebody else. Or it could have been that the person couldn't find balance in a relationship because somebody's career, maybe somebody works too hard. He could be the one that's working too hard in a situation and this is why there is no balance, okay? Um, also, it has to do with balancing a decision or priorities. I'm wondering if he's having a hard time with dating because of his career. Oh, and he may not, yeah. That's what I'm getting from him. Oh, and it's bothering him a lot, okay? You also have here the Eight of Swords, all right? Mm, eight of Swords, High Priestess. Oh, I know one thing. He's, um, this is, feels like inner conflict because you have the Temperance card here as well. And then you also have the Four of Pentacles. There's something that he's releasing, he's letting go of. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. Y'all, I don't know what is going on with this young man, but he feels trapped in his own head, okay? Ace of Swords is somebody that feels trapped in their own head. This could also um, be the energy of somebody that um, is doing the self-victim thing. Like, I don't know. He's being, he's just, oh, you know what this is? It makes sense now. Stereotypically, Libras tend to be very hard on themselves. When they feel that their scales are off, it's a, he may, it's, it's not like he's made, he may not be going through a huge situation, but he may be throwing himself a pity party. And I feel that he, and I feel that this is because he has such high expectations for his himself, or it could be somebody else. And it makes him very, he, he takes a lot of stuff and turns it inward. Like he beats himself down when he really doesn't have to. Yeah, I do feel this is an inner voice that's telling him this. He really needs to change his mindset because um, it is, it's not helping him. He needs to balance out his life, okay? Because you also have the temperance here. This is about patience, about finding meaning. He may be trying to find some type of meaning in his life. And with this four of pentacles in the reverse, there is something that had to be let go of, but he was very possessive over it. If either this is a person, his career, or his mindset, something needs to be released. And then you have at the bottom of the deck, the three of pentacles there in the reverse. So it also has to do with somebody, oh, that's what it is. This is the second time that I picked this up with this group members. Is Keep in mind, the three of pentacles, 
could do with third party energy, whether that's relationship or third party energy in regards to like a, you know, a person being um, unfaithful or business. And I believe there's a group conflict that's going on with this group. They're trying to figure it out. I think everybody or a lot of them want to go their separate ways or they want to kind of stand out and do their own thing, but they feel tied to, or maybe, yep, they feel stuck in it and tied into a contract. So they don't have the freedom that they would really like to be able to express themselves more. Because you're getting with this Three of Pentacles in the reverse, there has to do with lack of teamwork, disorganized or group conflict. So I'm telling you the group conflict is weighing on him in some way and it's causing him a lot of burden that he wished that he really didn't have to deal with. Yeah, he wished he didn't have to deal with this. Because he's a person, keep in mind, Libras stereotypically are the people pleasers. They don't want people to be hurt, so they'll go above and beyond to make sure everybody's happy. He's probably usually the one, like I said before, puts a smile on everybody else's face. But it feels like at this time, his optimism, his happiness is not working with this group, okay? You have in the reverse here, the judgment card, uh, lack of self-awareness or somebody having doubt. I'm telling you, he plays pity parties. He plays pity parties. And this is something that he's going to need to change, okay? Because you also have this nine of wands. Okay, is that in a reverse? Yeah. You also have this nine of wands in a reverse. He's exhausted, fatigued. He's probably not getting enough sleep. He doesn't trust anybody right now because he's unsure of motives. You know, what is um, people's intentions with him? Yeah, he's going through a lot eternally that I'm telling you, I feel like you all, he's putting on a mask. And he's not showing the other group members just how much this is affecting him. You also have the page of cups. I told you he's putting on a mask and he's not really revealing how he truly feels. Okay. Because this is that people pleaser energy. This is somebody that may be played with insecurity or emotional immaturity or somebody that's experienced disappointment when he was a child in the household, allegedly. So he... Whenever there's conflict, he may feel like he doesn't have a voice, if that makes sense. Yeah. Whenever there's conflict, he feels like he doesn't have a voice. Keep in mind the two of swords. Swords is about communication. My throat is closing up. <clears throat> so that means he needs to open up his throat chakra. Also with this two of swords in the reverse, he's somebody that has a fear of change and he has a tendency to listen to other people, take everybody else's advice and play it safe. He's afraid to speak up for himself or there could be something where he's not speaking up and it's going to cause a stalemate. Mm. Wow. Why are these messages coming through for Gemini, please? Give me the most important messages. Why are these messages coming through for Gemini? Look at the amount of intuitive messages that have come through. So he could have a lot of things on his mind. Let's take a look. You have 999. What did I tell you? He needs to release. He truly needs to release. He needs to open up. He needs to communicate. Open up that throat chakra. There's something he's needing to let go of. The things I want to do to you. Oh, could be some sexual penetration. <laughs> I don't know. Man, this retrograde. What did I just say? What the heck just came out? Okay. He may have a lot of pent up sexual frustration. I'm just saying. He's human. He's a grown man. It is maybe driving him insane. <laughs> okay. Uh, no more tears. Yeah, this is definitely somebody that's holding on to something in his past that is driving him insane. So hopefully, you know, he'll be able to work something out. Again, this could have to do with a earth sign. It could be a Capricorn. Also, this is January energy, so it could be a January Aquarius. Also, something significant could have happened this past January or something will happen next year in regards to him. 
Oh, he's getting a lot of angel numbers. Yeah, he's really needing to wake up. That's why that temperance card is there, having that balance between practicality and spirituality. But you have one, two, three, four on the right track, okay? Once he opens up and he releases, then he's going to be able to be on the right track to where it is that he needs to be emotionally, okay? So you have grow your platform. So again, he may be somebody that want to step outside the box and want to do something different, but he may be in the energy of going along to get along, okay? Uh, there's Libra energy justice card here. Again, like I said before, he was feeling like he was treated unfairly. So I don't know if there's somebody he wants to sue because the justice card is about being sued or workman's comp or suing others or getting some type of payout. So there's something he's been wanting to do, but he has two much pride too much pride keep in mind a lot of scorpio on his chart so he could be very stubborn you have here i'm not perfect homeowners insurance okay so could be in the market of looking for a home or or two i don't know um somebody i do believe there could be a father figure that he may have had like a, a not so good relationship with you have receding hairline You'll be back mm -hmm. in due time. <laughs> oh, wow. You'll be back in due time. Okay. New career. I told you all. I truly feel that a part of him wants to do something different, but pride keeps getting away. He really wants to branch out in his career, allegedly, but, you know, we'll see what happens with him. Also, I, I really do think he's dealing with a relationship with family or a relationship with a person because the card here was, you told me you was ready, but you can't rush love. Yeah. Again, that queen of pentacles in the reverse came through. May have been somebody that he thought was the one for him. You have change your passwords. Yeah. I'm telling you, I believe that he was dealing with somebody that may have been in it allegedly for the money. Oh, my nose is itching. Yeah. He may have been dealing with somebody that may have been in it for the money because that queen of pentacles in a reverse can be a gold digger or somebody that's self-centered, okay? And or somebody that may have felt like he was too smothering. So they gave him false hope. You have here financially sound. Okay, somebody could be a pet lover. If I'm not mistaken, this came out in um, the other guy's reading, June Koo. You have, when you least expect it, love will find you. Aw, he's a hopeless romantic. He just wants to be in love. I got that energy from him, as a matter of fact. He has a lot of Libra and a lot of Scorpio. I really do believe that he really wants a genuine love connection but because of the career path that he's chosen it's hard for him to trust people you hear a lot of celebrities say this they're like i don't trust people because i don't know if they want me for who i am part jimin or do they want me at because i'm the bts member that's a you know a part of a popular band and makes a lot of money so that's where i feel his his problem comes in at he wants to date but he has trust issues because of the career path he's chosen you have you are forgiven vacation he may need to take a break trying to decide what it is that he wants to do <clears throat> you deserve much more yeah, you all, he could just be going through a broken heart. I really do feel that he may have put all into the wrong person. You can have anything you want. King of Pentacles is coming towards you. Okay? So there could be somebody coming towards him. Keep, it, keep in mind that even though it says King of Pentacles, um, there is no really like masculine, feminine, and tarot. So there could be a female that's coming towards him that's in the King of Pentacles energy. Or this could just mean that abundance is coming towards him or um, somebody that's like a provider. I'm telling you all, I feel he has a relation. The relationship may not have been so good with a father figure in his life. So this person, I don't know, maybe they're coming. Yep, yep, there's Virgo. 
I do believe there is an earth sign that is coming towards him where the relationship wasn't that good, even if this was a relationship or not, you know, um, a romantic relationship or not, because you have in love with the ideal of love. What did I tell you? Somebody that wants relationships so much, but they have to be careful and not try to force a relationship. Because one thing that I notice stereotypically when I do a lot of um, readings for Libras, they tend, some of them tend to have the habit of going back to something that's not working. Just like I read when I did the Ashanti and Nelly reading where it's like they will stay in a relationship even if it's not healthy just because it's i don't i don't know it's an energy around that of being either comfortable or a person not really knowing their worth okay yeah yes you have here hurts like hell you have a kiss in the dark so this was a private relationship this was either a, a relationship he's keeping private or this was one where he feels like he was somebody's secret and he doesn't want to be the secret anymore he wants to be out in the open with this person allegedly you have here new home yeah new home new in, new home insurance both of those cards came out yeah home owners insurance and new home so he could be in the market for a new home or he may have just purchased a new one but you have here, pay back your creditors, okay? <laughs> so he could have a tendency to um, spend a lot. So it's important for him to watch his spending. I'm telling you all, there's an earth sign or two that he's in conflict with. Capricorn, Virgo, King of Pentacles energy here, January. So there's definitely Capricorn energy. Wow. Look at this. Now there's rental insurance. He could have multiple property. What did I tell you? Trying to make it work with somebody that is keeping him a secret or he's keeping them a secret, allegedly. Because you have not the type to take home to mom. Mm. Yeah, and my nose is itching like crazy. Somebody could have a gambling addiction, allegedly. I did mention that about spending. Somebody could be spending frivolously. Gambling is spending frivolously no work okay could be somebody that's wanting to live off him yeah he needs to set some healthy boundaries you have here uh, moving on happily single living in the moment and having fun he could be in this energy now okay where there's somebody he's needing to release because this person here reflects his wounds let me tell you something. If he's seeing somebody, that's why that 10 of cups came up in the beginning of the reading. If he's seeing somebody, they reflect his wounds of him when he was a child. So he's dating somebody that reminds him of his childhood. Somebody that may not respect him. Is something going on with him eternally. And it has something to do with whomever this is. <laughs> yep. It's something going on. Whoa, I, I'm curious. Why are these messages coming through at this time, please, for Jimin? Why are these messages coming through at this time, please, for Jimin? Oh, yeah, he caught feelings for somebody that he wasn't supposed to, and he can't let go, all right? Allegedly, energetically holding on to you, never letting go. He doesn't want to let go of somebody that's not right for him. And I'm not surprised because he has Scorpio dom dominant and Leo, I mean, and Libra energy. Look at that. I wasn't supposed to catch feelings. I hate that you put me on a high pedestal. I feel he's the one that's been rejected. This person is distancing themselves or trying to, needing my personal space. One day you're going to be my wife or husband. This is somebody that feeds him this information, but yet they're holding back. He could be the one holding back because you have hidden emotions, deeper feelings than, um, than I'm showing. Oh, wow. Y'all, this is juicy. Should I keep going? Ooh, I think so. Okay. Let me, let me, this is messy because I can tell how I'm pushing the cards away. Uh-oh. Are you involved in a messy situation? I'm finna, you know what? You know what? I'm finna find out what's going on with Jimmy. <laughs> Give me the most important messages that need to come through at this time, please, for Jimmy. What is this situation? Who is this person he is unable to let go of? Give me the most important messages that need to come through at this time, please, for Jimmy. Ooh, did you see all these 
cards. And I'm going to keep every last one of them. I'm being told to pull these. Why are these messages coming through at this time for Jimin? Why are these messages coming through? Uh-huh. Now, bottom of the deck is the Eight of Cups in the reverse. There is somebody he does not want to let go of. Eight of Cups in the reverse. This is somebody that keeps looking back or keeps trying to go back to something that ain't working. He's hooked on somebody, allegedly, or they're hooked on him. Whoever this is, they have um, they have a hold on him. Oh, what, oh, my God. King of Pentacles came out again. King of Pentacles came out again, okay? All about abundance, prosperity, or provider, or somebody that could be very generous. I'm telling you, he may keep going back to somebody. Shut the freaking... You can't make this up. He may be dealing with a karmic, or he is perceived to think that he's dealing with like a twin flame, or he could be dealing with a twin flame type of energy. Let me tell y'all something. He's dealing with somebody. The more he gives, the more they take. Allegedly. Look at that. You see the King of Pentacles? Look who's next to the King of Pentacles in the reverse again. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Y'all, this person makes him weak in the knees. You see how that man is at her feet doing everything for her? Whoever she is, she is gorgeous. She is somebody that knows she can get any man she wants and wrap them around her finger. And she makes sure she gets to the bag, allegedly. Somebody, he, baby, and she puts it, <laughs> and she puts it on him, okay? Allegedly. You got the four ones here. This is all about community, home, and celebration. This is somebody that he, I'm telling you, he, this is somebody he either wants to be with or oh, they got my hand itching. This is a gold digger he's dealing with. Money coming in, money coming in. She takes, 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 allegedly. Somebody takes, takes, takes. And he ends up feeling taken advantage of each and every time he feels treated unfairly. Libra, is this justice card? Oh, excuse me. Is the justice card not the Libra energy? See, but you can't, you can't eventually, you're going to have to take responsibility because people can only do to you what you allow them to do. And what I'm seeing is a king of pentacles keeps giving to a queen of pentacles in the reverse. And I'm not saying she's a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke one. Okay. But he cannot let go energetically. He is tied to her and he cannot figure out. I feel he pays for vacations, everything with this person. Give me more messages. Ah! <laughs> There's a lot of strong chemistry there. Uh-oh. But somebody, either him or this person is a player for life. You left your... <laughs> Let me tell you something. Tarot will tell all your mother freaking business. <laughs> you left your panties at my place. <laughs> One night stand. Mm -hmm. That may have been all it took. Somebody in this situation could have a few extra pounds. Nothing wrong with that. Uh-oh. Oh, snap. Hold on. Hold on. Jimin. Are you being extorted? Y'all, somebody may be pay back your creditors. Y'all, somebody may be extorting him for money, threatening to release a tell-all book, allegedly. Somebody's like, well, you did this with me in XYZ, and if you don't continue to do this, I'm going to tell. Y'all, let me see if it, wait a minute. Is someone threatening? Oh, yeah, them cards fell out. Shut up. Is someone threatening to release a tell-all book on Jimin, allegedly? Is someone wanting to release or threatening to release a tell-all book on Jimin? Hierophant in the reverse, okay? So we have no. No could mean that this person is threatening, but they're not going to release it. That no could also indicate that somebody... 
Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Somebody wants to win at all costs. Let me tell you something. No, they're not going to release the book. It may have threatened to release the book. Or he has a fear that somebody's going to release the book. Y'all, look, do I need a part two on Jimin? It got hot in here all of a sudden. Wait a minute. Let me finish these cards. You have, uh-oh, third eye chakra, okay? Somebody's lacking clarity and direction. I said this in the beginning of the reading. He needs to trust his intuition because somebody is running him through a loop, okay? He may have the fear. That's why that card came out as no. Jimin may have a fear that, oh, now it makes sense. I said in the very beginning of the reading, according to his chart, he's the type of person that's afraid to get too close to people because he feels like they're going to want him for his status, not necessarily for who he is. So his biggest fear is running into a gold digger that's going to take advantage of him and write a tell-all book. That's why I came out in the know, because this is in his head. I told you he's in his head a lot and he has a fear of dating people because of what he perceives to be danger. Wow. He needs to trust his intuition and gain some foresight because he's going to make himself paranoid like crazy. Meanwhile, with all that Scorpio on your chart, baby, look at that. Get the whipped cream. You was over here fiending. He over here fiending for it. But he's so afraid because he don't want nobody to use and take advantage of him. I can understand that, you know, with the career that he has, but you can't let that control your life. You know, that's not the point of you being famous and, you know, being blessed with this gift. You're not being blessed with this gift to live a life of loneliness or, you know, of, or lack. And then you have take it off. And I just realized there's a card behind it. There's January, okay? He could be dealing with a January Aquarius or afraid to go towards a January Aquarius because of these fears that he has in regards to self-image. If you guys enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up. My God, <laughs> I was not expecting that. If you guys are excited about this and interested in a part two, look, we got to get down to the nitty gritty. All right, listen, we don't have to do a part two. We can jump into the next group member. Okay. <laughs> Who's up next? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. See you all in my next one. Bye.